All right, let's deal with the damn dog again. Oh, shit, there's two damn dogs. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days of Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming. In this episode, we're going to go out and uh, do some more Tier 2 questing. A couple things to uh, get caught up on, though, before we do that. I did indeed go out uh, and spend the entire day on Day 17 uh, mining. It was kind of painful because I have no Miner 69 or Mother Load or anything like that, but we got it done. Brought back a little over 4,000 iron, uh, about 1,000 coal and nitrate, which I turned into gunpowder in my inventory and about 800 lead or so. Uh, so I've been feeding this into the forge and making different things. I have uh, made a green uh, spear, uh, which is an upgrade by those red numbers there that you can see from the yellow one. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the yellow one because I need the money uh, right now. And we still have the the blue stone spear as a backup if we, if we needed it. Uh, let's see what else do we do. I made the scope for the pipe rifle. Uh, so we got a 2x scope on here, which is cool. And um, we I, I leveled up twice. Yeah, I think twice off camera. So I put a point into Machine Gunner, <clears throat> and I put a point into Boomstick. And then the next point that, we, that we're going to get is going to go into 69er because, yeah, it just, I, it, it's such a pain in the butt to mine without having a few points of this. And then um, speaking of that, we'll probably... We'll probably put a couple more points into uh, a few things that we can get the first point into. Uh, so pain, living off the land, pain tolerance, healing factor, iron gut, uh, reduced food and water loss from physical. Yeah, all of those are worth, uh, or many of those, I should say, are worth putting that first point into. Um, hidden strike would be good. Run and gun would be good. And uh, we already got a point into archery and gunslinger. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else I have to update you guys on? I don't think so. We're in pretty good shape, you know, food and water-wise, but we have been for a while. Oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, I didn't really notice this until I was looking more closely. So if you... Um, this is what the forge looks like without an anvil. And then if you put an anvil on it, then it puts an anvil model. And if you put the bellows on it, it puts a bellows model. It's really cool. I didn't even realize that until I was looking at it earlier. So just little, you know, cool things like that that the Fun Pimps have added in this update, which is really cool. Um, I've been running this forge all night and also the stove. So I think I'm going to actually turn it off to cool things down around here because I'm afraid we're going to get screamers if we don't uh, be careful with that. Um... The thing that I kind of need the most right now is, believe it or not, well, you probably do believe it is glue um, to continue, you know, crafting, like, for example, more repair kits and things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a pumpkin pie, by the way. Yum. Thanksgiving. Um, and then we're going to need to... I'm not low on water per se, but low-ish. So let's take a red tea, and I think I'll just throw back this golden rod because we can always make more if we ever actually needed it. Uh, does beer give... Yeah, beer doesn't give any hydration because I can drink that now without the ill effects of it. Too bad that wasn't true in real life, huh? <laughs> um, so yeah, that should get our food topped off, our water. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm going to hang on to two clean waters... I'm going to turn these three into more red tea. Uh, I'm starting to use the clean water, you know, for cooking the better recipes and stuff. And eventually we're going to also, as mentioned, uh, need it for making glue and things like that. Or we're not quite at that point yet where I want to spend... Uh, whoops. No, don't put that in there. Uh, where I want to spend boiled water on glue. But we'll get to that point eventually. So... If you didn't catch the episode one or two, uh, two episodes ago or whatever it was, uh, we now have two dew collectors, and there's room to put two more up here. And then, of course, we could always expand the platform or put more even elsewhere uh, later. I haven't done a whole lot on the house. Uh, I was pretty busy crafting and doing things overnight. Uh, I did take some of these rafters out, but we'll continue to work on that as time, as we have time to do so. 
Okay, so let's go sell this to Trader Jin and see if she has any glue for sale. I know the, the traders have offered glue as a reward, too. Um, or, or duct tape. I mean, duct tape's what we actually need. So, and then uh, we'll go do this next tier two quest that we have. Oh, another thing I need more of are mechanical parts so I can make the pocket mods. We have, I think, three pieces of armor that we can put. And we can make the single storage pocket mod. I've already got the... Well, when I say pocket, I mean the ones that you put on the armor. The ones you put on the clothes already. Huh? You again. I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, let's go to here. And we're going to sell this to you. And so we have 3,900 coin and change. Do you have duct tape? You do not. Do you have glue? You do not. Ah, oh, Jen. Sucks. She has no glue or duct tape. Okay. I hope you get feeling better. Yeah, me too. Um, let me look in here real quick. Yeah. We're not at that point yet where I want to start spending money on candy, except for... Nah. Okay, what are we doing? We are doing a tier two clear at Luigi's Pizza. Is that from you or is that from Hugh? Hugh or you? That's from you. Okay, so we should also go get a job from Hugh too, so we have a couple in the works. But, you know, the tier two jobs, of course, because they are tier two jobs, um, are pretty dangerous to us at this point. Oh, how did you get in the game? Okay. Um, let's run, <clears throat> excuse me, let's run over to Hugh, get his quest. <clears throat> if there's a chance that he has an infestation, we'll, we'll do that one instead. We'll prioritize it because we get better loot. And we'll also see if he has any glue or duct tape. Let's try another cop car. Dang. Where'd you come from, dude? Fast running son of a bitch. Guy was booking it. Okay, get our stamina back. That must make a hell of a lot of noise. Here we go. Yep, there's Horde. Okay, let's pull him away. Hmm. Okay. Not so sure that was worth the effort. <laughs> okay, let's go. He has an infested clear. Beautiful. Okay. I've got a task for you, if you think you can handle Dur it. Deracinated? Deracinated domicile. I'm not even familiar with what that term means. Probably means like run down or torn up or something. I'll have to look that up on Google. Great. Let's get down to work then. Okay, let's look and see. Do you have any duct tape? You do not. Do you have any glue? You do. Okay, we're going to buy all this glue. And, uh, good. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Does he have any shotguns, like real shotguns? He doesn't. Okay. Well, what kind of lousy customer are you anyways? All right, so change of plans. We are going to go... Do, I don't think we need another one of those right now. This decimated or not decimated, whatever that word was. Uh, infestation quest. Deracinated. Deracinated means uprooted from one's natural, geographical, social, or cultural environment. 
Hmm, I wonder how that's going to apply to a domicile. I guess we will find out soon. And I learned a new word today. Yay me. Ah, look at this. So we're talking about a house that has most definitely been uprooted. That's funny, man. Okay. Oh, got a cop car too. All right. So let's um let's do the cop car first, and we'll pull the horde away from here. And then when we actually start the quest, it might re. I don't know if it'll put another cop car here or not. All right. Let's get our stamina back. Speaking of which, why don't we throw back one of these? And one of these. Okay, here we go. Here they come. Alright, so we still have some zombs here. I don't think those are ferals. Of course, I don't know that for sure. No, oh, she's normal. Stamina come back. I think we got a bleed on him though. Damn. He doesn't look feral. But he's not dying, so he must be. Spider monkeys, normal spider monkeys aren't that hard to kill. Yeah, 750 XP. He was a feral. Well, that explains that. Pipe shotgun upgrade by two levels. We'll take that. It gives us an extra slot there. Okay, let's do a little bit of preluding here before we start this in earnest. If it does spawn in another cop car, we'll have to wait till the end of the quest to do it because we can't leave the premises. Ooh, that's never a good sign. Yeah, not a good sign. But we're not that afraid of dogs anymore because we got guns. Scrap that. It is not lootable. Uh, okay, let's check this vehicle. We're just, you know, like like normal. We're not going to do a... Oh, good, we got glue. We're not going to do, like, a really hardcore double loot. Just grabs a few things on the outside. Um, We should probably take one of these. Nobody in here. Medicine cabinet is not lootable. Who put sand in their trash bin? We do have to be mindful that we have some high level Zeekers still running around out there. That's just a uh, construction worker guy, so I'm not too worried about him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's just look around here. Oh, 
don't see anything in there. Let's see what's in the working steps. Harvesting tools. Nice. I'm back to using my stone axe for POIs, just so we don't have to carry a hammer and an axe with us, uh, and, a, and a pick. Well, do I have the pick? I do. Yeah, we could have probably left that at home too, but that's okay. Are there any mailboxes before we get started? It does not look like. Oh yeah, there is. There certainly is. Pistol Pete, armor piercing nine minutes. That'll come in handy later, especially if we get an SMG. Um, okay, so I think we are ready to actually start this quest. I haven't, I haven't even done this place like, yeah, that did re, re pop. Okay, we'll do that at the end. I haven't even done this place normally, so, um, I don't know what's going to happen in there. We're going to have to be super careful though. Grab that. Why? We're going to need a drop chest. There's no two ways about that. Wait, no. It's not called drop chest. Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, man. I can't take me anywhere. Okay. Uh, I don't want to get too far off the property, so we're just going to put it right there. This is a clear too, by the way. I probably all the infestants are clears. Well, I don't know that for sure. It may not be the case. All right, let's deal with the damn dog again. Oh shit! There's two damn dogs. Son of a bitch! That's right. This is an infestation. <laughs> Duh. Oh, it never even occurred to me that there would be two dogs. That's just funny. Oh boy. I did tell me I brought a honey. I did. Okay, good for me. Oh. Whew. Okay, that was intense. That was intense. Looks like we've already looted that. Let's check the pickup truck. Oh. Uh, let's see if. Yeah, that's still... This is lootable now. All right, we can sell that. Check the pickup truck. Nice. So, we didn't have anybody in here last time, but that does mean... Can we open that door from here? Okay, we're good. Oh, toilet pistol. Look at that. That's nice. It's always fun to find a toilet pistol, even though the one we have is a little better, but that's fine. We can either sell it or break it down for parts. Nice. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Getting my wrench. We need mechanical parts to make our pocket mods. Here, let's grab some plastic, too. Actually, we're doing pretty good on plastic, though, but we'll grab a little more. Let's go check the mailbox. Oh, I guess we already did. Okay. Uh, we'll check the working stiff's truck, and do we have a... Nope, we can't. Still can't loot the tool chest there. Forge ahead. Maybe we can get a, another honey out of here in case we get infected again on this little fiasco that we're doing. Nope. No mas. Alright. Let's use that pipe to repair this. 
Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Guess we go in up there where the light is. So, let's block that door. We're going to really, we're going to have to really play this one safe here, best as we can. Are those doors, okay, those are locked doors. Let's just pick these up and scrap them. The house is like kind of in a state of moving. Like, I mean, they've got stuff packed and all that. What a neat POI. I like this. How about if we load our weapon? Especially our oh shit weapon. I see red dots, and there's a construction there's a construction guy right there. Let's see if we can dispatch him. Right, waking, oh, well, that worked. That waking everybody else up. This price is probably going to be packed with construction workers. Makes sense. Okay. First part is clear. Yeah. We might want to load that too. Uh, nope, not going to take that stuff. We're going to be somewhat selective on the loot. I don't really need to... I don't really need to... Well, I don't really need to pick up chairs anymore either. But we're mining full-scale iron now. And we definitely don't need to pick up lead anymore. We will, however, since we have a little bit of iron, let's just top these off. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to pick up iron. We're not going to pick up that. I have a, over a full stack of it. Though I know it doesn't go very far when you don't have a... We will put some points into living off the land, though, at some point. Uh, you know what? I don't think we need the corn seed either. We have a little bit of that back at the base. We're not really... That's not a priority right now is what I'm trying to say. Everything else we... I guess we'll hang on to. Okay. Care about the golden rod that's easy to get. Look at that too. Hobo stew. Fantastic. Ooh, that's why we actually should probably be hanging on to the rotting flesh. Hobo stew is some good stuff. It's as nasty as I'll get out if you think about it, but if you don't think about it, it's good food in this game. Excuse me. Okay. Let's um close that. All clear in here. Doors locked. Nice. Get my arrow back. 
This is a... This is a single skull POI? Really? That seems weird. You'd think it would be... I, I mean, it's it said it was a tier 2... A tier 2... Um, uh, what infestation, but there's only one skull in the upper right hand corner. All right, targets within three meter meters have a high dismemberment chance with shotguns. We'll take it. Look at that big screen TV. Got no, we only got three plastic. I was gonna say 14, but that's what I have in total. Um, all right, anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know why that shows just a single skull, but it does. Oh, look at that backpack. Okay, we'll take that. Up the stairs we go. There's so many places for Zeke's to pop out up here. Um, okay, so before we wake up that hornet's nest, we need to figure out where we're going to retreat to. We could retreat to there. It might be better for us to retreat back into this room, though. Just because we have a door that we can close and give us a couple more seconds to put a block down. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Shit. This table's in the way. A cop? Oh, shit. Buzzards? Trying to come through here, or one of them is anyway. Okay, since since we just have one zombo there, the thing is though, is that zombo could be a feral. Oh shit! It's a feral. Whew. Oh man, why do I get myself into these situations? We have got to respect infestation quests. That's all there is to it. We just got to do it. That kind of rhymed. Poet didn't know it kind of stuff. Uh, we probably also better pop one of these, too. Okay. Stuff to sell. Um, that's probably not better than our sweatshirt for cold resistance. No, it's not. And it's not really worth that much money, so let's grab it. Okay, let's go in here. Do not need to be picking those up. Not see anything else in here. Nice. shot here. We can take care of these guys from down here, though. 
Beautiful. Marvelous, darling. You will look marvelous. Okay. Reload. More birds? Shut up. Yes, I see that other bookcase. It's a good thing we didn't miss this. Salvage tools. Traps. Knives. We need a bone quality knife five. Wow, this individual was decorated. I've noticed there's a lot of these double closets in Alpha 21. going on that side, huh? Okay. <clears throat> nope. I'm putting up with that shit. Night Stalker, 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. I think we're probably getting close to the end of Night Stalker. Oh, nice. Another shotgun. Less degradation. Nice. <clears throat> and a forge book. Uh, did both of those. Okay. Uh, let's get this. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm thankful that we have ourselves an AK and we can finally make ammo for it. Because if without that, we already probably would have bought the farm. So thank you, AK, for your service. We just need to get a better one. This one only has two mod slots, but it still helped tremendously. Fat loot's room. What kind of nastiness are we going to have to deal with here? There's the cash. Oh, we could actually just nab the cash and go, but not not if we want to complete the quest. Why the hell am I not bringing pipe bombs and molotovs to infestations? We got to do that. Okay, so um, is it possible to kill this guy without waking up the cop? Hold on. Let's uh, make sure let's make sure this is loaded. And especially make sure this is loaded. All right, let's just try it and see what happens. Oh, there's more than just the cops here. There we go. We did it. Oh, man. AK-47 saves the day. And my butt. Did we loot that? Whew. That was intense. Let's 
check this. These used to sell for a whole bunch of money in an earlier alpha. Or maybe it wasn't those. Maybe it was the sports jacket. It was like a ridiculous amount of money. And it took the fun pimps like three or four alphas to actually correct it. <laughs> uh, knuckles. Knuckle wraps quality two. We'll check the, the good stuff at the very end because I like to save the best for last. What are these? Um, we already have perception shades, but I will keep the green dye and sell the shades. Leather poncho. I don't... Th 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 wait, we already have one of these, don't we? Mm, no. I think we have the college jacket. All right, I might hang on to that. We'll see. The normal loot. Nice burning shaft mod, baby. Um, I definitely don't want to give up the ergonomic, uh, bloop, ergonomic grip. This is supposed to stun and slow. Nah, <clears throat> I think these two mods are more important than this mod, but we could put this on the Kniffy, I suppose. Or not. Guess we can't put those on knives. I thought you used to be able to do that. Um, so I don't have anything that I can put it on. I can put it on a tool, I guess, just to increase its um effectiveness by these numbers here. And it gives us a makeshift torch too. The problem with this is if this was actually happening, it would heat up this metal wrench and burn the shit out of my hand. But this is not real life, ladies and gentlemen. This is seven days to die. Just in case anybody was confused about that. All right, let's see what's in the good stash. Lots of ammo. They sure like to give those stupid semi-trigger mods, which I don't like. But still, that's really good loot. Not going to complain about that. Um... Where let me okay, we need to make room for two things. These we can easily make now, so that's not important, but we definitely want the handgun parts. So I'm thinking that we leave behind one thing of coffee beans. And yeah, I'm not worried about that. I would take those if we weren't able to start, you know, if we didn't have the forge, but we do, so. What the hell is up with all the vultures in this thing? Oh, is there an attic? Hmm. I'm curious now. There might be stuff up here. Besides vultures. Nope, nothing up here. Okay. Do I have any leather? I do. Let's uh let's get a little bit more then. Okay, we're 13 things encumbered. We still need to do the cop car. And we need to deal with this bird too. Wherever it may be. He's been dealt with. Okay, so let's go. into here <clears throat> and oh we got a nice a really nice pipe rifle upgrade too that's right i'm gonna put a couple things in here got a full stack of 762 always a good thing
All right, that's good enough. Okay, let's get, make sure this is ready to go. Stamina back. While I'm waiting for that, let's make sure we do a drop chest here. Okay. All right, let's do this. What are you going to give us this time? Oh, pure mineral water. Nice. Uh, you know what? We're actually pretty damn thirsty, too. Why don't we take this right now? We're on the verge of losing stamina because of it. And we'll eat a bacon and eggs. Okay. So let's see what time. So we've got to get back to Hugh. we got time to do that. But uh, what I'm going to do is... Grab what I can out of here. Well, we don't have to... We can get a little closer now. Something bothering you? All right, we need to make room for one item. Uh, can we store something in here temporarily? Doesn't look like it. The bike's completely full. Okay. Well, let's just drop <clears throat> these feathers on the ground. Eh, actually, let's drop the bones on the ground. And see if we can pick them back up in time. Well, you did, uh, Dr. Brace, Wood Splitter, okay. Spear Hunter, so Speed of Forge Steel. Paid. Uh, out of all of these items, I think 25 Forge Steel is what we want. Okay. Um... Now let's pick that back up. Oh, we can't pick that back up. What was that again? That was, uh, uh, bones. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. Bones are fine. Well, actually, here, we're going to sell some stuff to him anyway, so... I'm going to sell him everything down here. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. All right, we need to repair these guys. And now that I, you know, now that I think about it, we're gonna sell them this too because um, we have a we have a, a duster, which is always better than a leather poncho, anyway. So, okay. Here, we'll sell the radiator too. So we're up to 55.43. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. We can also sell this orange uh, pipe rifle. There we go. Okay. I think we already checked you for glue and duct tape. Yes, we did. And, uh... He's got a blue iron spear, but, you know, a few more points and we'll be able to make our own blue iron spear. So, I think we're good. I guess you're not so bad after all. That's enough chit-chat for me today. Okay, he's got a fetch and a cl two fetch and clears. You need work. The Gladju residence, that's new. Okay. Good deal. You have a game. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but who gives a shit? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Uh, there isn't enough time left in this day to do much anything else, so I'm going to head back to the base and uh, just kind of probably work around the base at night. And then tomorrow morning. 
Uh, let's see. We'll either continue trader questing or we might do some more random looting. I, I like those random loot sashes. They're, they're fun to do too. And they're, uh, they're usually, you know, pretty lucrative too. So maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. We've covered the whole perimeter of the town. So now we need just need to start going up and down the interior of the town and basically just, you know, sweeping it and get, looting everything we can on the outside. We don't really go into too much into buildings when we do it that way. We're just kind of covering all the stuff on the outside because the buildings will, you know, hit later either via a job or just, you know, going into them. So that's the tentative plan. But as always, I reserve the right to change my mind. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode.